Hey guys, welcome back to the channel to another Merle on Time Watch Reviews. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Chris. I unbox and review budget watches. And today I am going to be taking a look at what I think is a fairly new store and brand on AliExpress. It is a brand called Spect and & Son. And the particular watch that I have to show you today has not been seen on YouTube yet. It is, in fact, a YouTube exclusive. As far as I know, this particular model of watch that they have is this is the first time you're gonna see it on YouTube. So with that, let's get going and check it out. Okay guys, so this is basically just my first impressions. Now, it's obviously not the first time I've seen the watch, but I will give you the first impressions that I had of the watch when I did open it. I must say that the box was, or the watch I should say, uh, nothing fancy about the packaging, simple box, Spect and Sun um, branding on the box, but it was very, very well packaged. The watch head was wrapped with quite a bit of uh, plastic. Uh, the band was also wrapped in plastic. It wasn't too much of a pain to get it all off. And so the watch did come um, very well protected. Now, this is what we are looking at. Have a look at that. This is obviously a homage to a Speedmaster. Now, I did not know that the Omega Speedmaster, and neither did my buddy Andre, uh, who bought himself a Speedmaster, did not know that there was a model and the model of Speedmaster, I'll show a picture of it in just a moment. It is the uh, Earth, Moon, and Mars model of, uh, of an Omega Seamaster. And so obviously this one is a homage of that. And so it, you know, it came on this pillow. And again, like I said, the watch head was wrapped quite nicely. You do get an unsigned warranty card with it. Not sure why. And it was nice of them to supply you know, a little tool for um, helping to remove the bracelet or the links. They also actually supplied a, uh, a link removal tool, a little plastic one. Um, I did use it to get a couple links off, but then it busted. It was quite cheap, um, but it was nice that they supplied all that. And uh, you can see here, I have removed four links to size it to my wrist. Now, what am I rocking on my wrist today, guys? Let's just take a look at that. This is the Eddie's Dive Pilot Watch. I am giving away the green version of this. Uh, reason being, I love the watch, but I wasn't um, struck as much as I thought I would be by the green color. I did a giveaway, but the person hasn't responded, so I'm gonna be launching another giveaway just for that green dial version, but I absolutely love this watch. All right, so with that, let's take a closer look do a walk around of this watch. I am gonna zoom in. Hopefully it doesn't really affect the camera too much. There we go. So this is the Spect and Sun, Earth, Moon, and Mars homage of an Omega Speedmaster. I can tell you that it is rocking the Seiko Instruments VK63 Mecha Quartz movement. And so they have chosen a, a decent movement for the watch. So. There you can see the, the subdials, and I would love to hear your opinion, guys, of uh, the subdials that are on this watch. This obviously being the Earth, that's the Moon, and that's Mars. I will show a picture right now of the, the real Omega Seamaster, Earth, Moon, and Mars. Here it is. And obviously, they executed the subdials much, much better <laughs> on the Omega. And I do have to say that I was a little bit underwhelmed by the, the use of these subdials. I, I think they could have been executed a little bit better. And as you can see from me just turning the watch here like this, I don't think there's much, if any, AR undercoating under that crystal. It is a sapphire crystal. So let me just take you a walk around the watch. There's the side profile. You got a brushed sandwich there between two high polish rings around the bezel and around the bottom of the case. And the other side will have the crown, uh, which you can see is just plain, and the two pushers there. The bracelet itself, uh, stainless steel bracelet, mixture of brush and polishing, and it does have a butterfly clasp deployant. 
and you do have kind of a neat neat feature where the the logo uh, does snap over top and there you have the Specht and Son logo on there and so you know from handling this and wearing it um, to be honest with you um, as I said with these sub dials I wasn't sure how they would be executed and I was a little bit underwhelmed by it but it's a it's a pretty decent looking watch and certainly the original uh, I think is really really cool so I'm not likely going to be keeping this one. I ended up being able to purchase this one from commissions from affiliate links. So I will leave a link. If this is if this watch strikes you, uh, email me at merleontime at gmail.com. I do have to do a full review of it yet, but uh, I will be uh, selling this one. I won't be wearing it too much just so that I do not uh, get any dings or scratches on it. I have had it on the wrist for a little bit. The bracelet is fairly comfortable. Again, I'll be covering uh, a lot of that stuff in the review, but I would love to know what you guys think of this brand, Specht & Son. As I mentioned, my buddy David Schwartz did a video on uh, their Patek Philippe homage. This one is one of their Omega Speedmaster homages. They do have one very similar to the original Speedmaster, um, and it is um, you know, very similar to the Pagani design offering of the same watch, but would love to hear your opinion, guys, in the comments below. What are your first impressions of this watch? I'll uh, start the chronograph so that you can see it. There's a nice, distinct click there. Seiko VK63 Mecha Quartz movement uh, running this watch. You have the running seconds hand at the 6 o'clock or the moon. And the chronograph 60-minute timer is the earth there. And so it has a nice, quick snap back. Uh, typical of the Seiko VK63. Let me just zoom out just a hair so that you can kind of get a uh, bit of a profile of the, the case there and uh, the bracelet. I think the bracelet was executed fairly well. Just push pins for the bracelet and nothing really fancy about the case back. Um, just the uh, Specht & Son logo in the middle and uh, you know some other information about it stainless steel construction although i don't know that this is surgical grade stainless steel but that's it that is the Specht and sun speedmaster homage of the uh, earth moon and mars version would love to know what you guys think here it is on wrist and here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist, and I think it looks fantastic. It is a sharp looking watch, especially uh, from a distance. You know, I was a little bit disappointed in those sub dials, but they do look pretty cool from a distance, I think. Up close, not so much. They're uh, honestly a little bit cheesy, and they could have done a much better job executing the Earth, Moon, and Mars on this particular watch. Would love to know your opinion of Specht & Son as a brand. If you have owned any of their watches, be sure to check out my buddy David Schwartz's video that he did on their Patek Philippe homage. And again, this one is the first time on YouTube that you would have seen this one, at least at the filming of this video. This hasn't been seen on YouTube yet, so that's pretty cool. And if you like this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. So for a hundred Canadian bucks, this one is pretty good. Solid movement, solid bracelet, solid watch head. Now, things are pretty good on this watch. Sub dials, eh, wasn't overly impressed with them. But for under a hundred dollars, Sapphire Crystal, you're getting a decent watch. And speaking of under a hundred dollars, did you know that Merle on Time is in a under one hundred dollar challenge to find the best watch for under a hundred dollars? I could have put this one in. But I wasn't overly impressed with those subdials. I could have put in that Addy's dive that I was wearing for the, for the unboxing today. But you know what? I decided it would be too easy to pick a watch from AliExpress for the under 100 challenge. So I am going to be putting up something else. What will that be? Well, stay tuned to this channel. And please go check out Troy, the bald watch collector. I'll put his channel there. He's the one that organized this event. He included me and eight other YouTube channels and himself. So that's 10. <laughs> so there's 10 of us all together. And we're going to be presenting to you, the watch community, 
what we feel is a great watch for under $100, and you get to vote on what the best one is. And the winner of that, Troy, will be sending a trophy. <laughs> Thank you, Troy, for inviting me to be a part of that, guys. The videos should be dropping on March the 6th, I believe, so in you know, just over a week's time. So be watching for that, and thank you so much for tuning in to another Merle on Time. I really appreciate your support. God bless you guys. Remember, whenever you leave your house, you have to have a great-looking piece to wear on your wrist like this. Specht and Sun, homage to a Earth, Moon, and Mars Seamaster. And remember, wherever you're going, you need to get there on time. God bless you. We'll see you in the next one.